Miko Pilot, everyone, and welcome back to another random film review. So, as you can see, this is my review for Renfield. Okay, it stars Nicolas Cage as Count Dracula, or the Dark Prince, or Dark Lord, or whatever. And we have Nicholas Holt, whom this is almost like uh, like the second one where he plays some sort of, you know, almost like a supernatural being uh, that's a hero. Maybe even start off like anti-hero, but is um, and in this type of genre is warm bodies. And of course, he started in many other things since then. And then now you have like this one. Um, <clears throat> but this is about Renfield um, and his uh, uh, Renfield, who's like kind of like the slave or um, yeah, just like a slave or a servant of, of uh, uh, Dracula. And he's the guy that eats bugs, right? Um, and one of the things I liked is this is kind of early on when recapping the history of these two. Um, they kind of, I, I guess, you know, um, N the Nicolas Cage Dracula is uh, based off of, they mean it to be based off of the Bela Lugosi Dracula because either they took the real uh, scene, I, I, I don't know, but maybe I have to watch it back again, but I mean, whatever, but, or they recreated it, but it was like, like a couple scenes from the original Bela Lugosi Dracula from the, what is it, early mid-30s, right? Early 30s, I think. And um, it was Bela Lugosi, right? And uh, and it kind of, either it's them reenacting or they did a, like a deep fake thing and, 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 and uh, computerized their face over it somehow. But it looked pretty authentic, pretty cool too, and funny. Um, we have Aquafina in here also, um, and uh, <clears throat> it's how Renfield, how he's serving Dracula, bringing him victims like like virgin cheerleaders and virgin uh, nuns and things like that. He he needs to feed upon the innocence Dracula does, so it gives him more power, uh, and he's feeling a guilt over this and he doesn't want to do it anymore and he's always attending these kind of like AA kind of meetings but it's not really for the alcoholics but um, just for people with problems I don't even know what the hell you call those things but just a thing where you um, meet a bunch of people and you have like the camp leader but it's not camp but you just have a leader that uh, talks to you and tries to uh, Maybe he's a psychiatrist, I don't know, but it's it's different. It's like a group, you know. Yeah. So um, he goes to those things, and it's enough to give him the motivation and the courage to uh, start to try to make some changes, uh, to go against him. And one of the lines was, what happens if you don't do these things for him? He will never, he will never come to full power or something like that. Uh, one day, you know, you know, the mafia also gets mixed up in all this. I don't want to talk about, go through the whole plot, but, you know. Um, but basically, he becomes a hero at a restaurant. He's eating there, and I think um, his purpose was to bring in those nuns and, and the cheerleaders to Dracula. But then uh, he got sidetracked when the place... Uh, I think actually it was hit because of him, right? He was uh, identified as. No, wait, that's not right. I, some somehow they they went in there. This doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I, I've seen this once, right? But I, I should see. It, I will see it again. Um, and he he basically stopped them. Those mafia people, those hitmen. Uh, and Aquafina was there. She's the cop, and um, you know they kind of double teamed. And at the end, he's now dubbed a hero. Uh, whereas she sees Renfield, I forgot his first name, but he has one, as a hero. Renfield sees a hero in her, and then there's this camaraderie that forms and, and this friendship, and I, I like that. Uh, this has over-the-top gore and over-the-top violence, and it's all in good fun. Oh, and I want to touch up on, uh, like I said, um, it's kind of like when it comes to the violence in these kind of things, even in normal horror movies like a Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street, I, I'm okay with those. I don't shy away from those because it's what it would look like. 
you know so so long as it's not showing the gore for i guess the sake of gore um i guess that's kind of hard to differentiate that but um some you can sometimes just tell was that really necessary to to show it like that but if it's like a like in a comical fashion like this one or um you know evil dead 2 or even reanimator stuff like that uh that's cool <laughs> that's fine but if it's like in friday the 13th or victor crowley victor crowley has over the top two but again that's kind of like in a in a funny way sure you can argue also it's for the for the sake of gore but i'm okay with the gore so that's that's another thing that's that's fine and so long as you know and like with terrifier this is just what it would look like this would you prefer that when the arm gets cut off uh flowers come out of it no that's not that's gonna be worse it's if an arm gets cut off or a decapitation it's not gonna be pretty it's gonna look like what it looks like how they how they showcase it in these things so that's why it just makes sense okay um or <laughs> it just works no that that would be todd howard and and there's nothing wrong with that statement when todd howard said it just works it just works it sure does work um uh, people shit all over like todd howard first they shit first they love him and then they shit on todd howard then they love him and then they shit on him again because there are changes with fallout 76 it's anyways it doesn't matter doesn't matter um, I've always stood by Bethesda and their works even when a little misstep and <laughs> they they say oh yeah when companies now are like Bethesda releasing games where they're already bugged or glitchy well have you forgotten when Daggerfall came out and more when it's riddled with bugs especially with Daggerfall the only difference is now over time they can fix those bugs you couldn't do such things back in those days so be grateful you're ingrates be grateful you ungrateful fans, you know, just be grateful that they're fixing it still. Even if not everything gets addressed, maybe it's just not as easy as you think. You ever stop and think about that? Um, so getting back with Renfield, um, I, I, I liked it. I liked that. I thought the plot was fun. It's one of those um, uh, 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 just a, a, a fun but dumb over the top uh oh not really like a parody maybe you can say a little bit of like a parody from you know the the Bela Lugosi Dracula uh but it also has heart with you know and you know with the relationship that that unfolds with Renfield and Aquafina um and I thought Nicolas Cage was an over the top Dracula and he's it's it's an uh, an interesting and and fun thing to see Nicolas Cage kind of still be Nick Cage as we all know and love how he's just very sporadic and crazy but but how he injects that personality of himself a persona of himself into this Dracula role of a Bela Lugosi role okay so um, out of 10 I would give Renfield um, I would give it an eight out of ten it's goofy great fun so yeah and really because it's so goofy you may not even be turned off to the gore you may not uh, so that's it that's my review for Renfield uh, please like comment and subscribe hope you enjoyed and see you oh, let me do this